Hello, today I want to give you a first look at Kingston Fury Beast DDR5 RGB. And if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know I'm a big fan of the Kingston Fury Beast range, and I've used it in a lot of my recent builds. I'm currently using their DDR5, but up until recently, that it wasn't possible to have RGB on it. So I'm really excited that they've now released this new kit. So the kit is available in four different speeds. We've got 4800, 5200, 5600 and 6000 mega transfers per second. The RAM is available in single sticks or kits of two and they're available in 8, 16 and 32 gigabyte capacity. So if you get two 32 sticks in a kit, that's up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. The RAM is Intel XMP 3.0 ready. It's compatible with the Fury Control software for controlling the RGB, and I'll show you that later in the video, and it comes with a lifetime guarantee. Okay, let's get it out of the box and take a closer look at it. So you'll see Kingston have gone with a slightly different heatsink design. There's definitely a little bit more of a bump over towards the right-hand side of the RAM. So we take a look at their new DDR5 next to their DDR4. The changes to the heatsink design are fairly clear. Okay, so that's the RAM installed in the system, and I absolutely love the RGB lighting bar on the RAM. Um, I think the new heatsink design looks really well, and I think certainly looking at the RAM from the side, you can see much more of the RGB, and it looks really, really good. Okay, so that's us into the BIOS. You can see I've got the 32 gigabyte kit, two sticks of 16, which is currently running at 4800 megahertz. And this is one of the things Kingston mentioned, the plug and play functionality of the RAM, where it will run at up to 4800 megahertz if your motherboard allows it to, without enabling the XMP profile. So I do have the 5600 megahertz kit. So if we click on the XMP profile, there we go, that's our RAM up and running at 5600 megahertz. You can see the timings here, and that's at 1.25 volts. So I think we're meant to have three different profiles with this kit. So if I click XMP profile again, profile number two, we're down to 5200 megahertz, timings are the same at 1.25 volts. And the third profile, we're down to 4800 megahertz. The timings have changed slightly and we're down to 1.1 volt. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it on profile number one and having it running at the fastest speed. Okay, so we're over to Windows and I want to just confirm the RAM is running at the specified speed. So we right click on the Windows icon, click on Task Manager, and then we click on the Performance tab and click on Memory. So you can see our 32 gigabytes of RAM is currently running at 5600 megahertz. Okay, so that's us into the Fury Control software. We've got a diagram at the top and that matches up with what our RAM is currently showing. So if we want to turn all the lighting off, we can do that. We just need to click off. And we can have it on at 10% where the RAM is going to look quite dull or we can have it all the way on. Then we've got this whole range of different effects. We're currently on Rainbow, which I think looks really, really good. We've got options for the speed. So if we want to slow it all the way down, we can do that or speed it all the way up. Again, I think roughly where it was looked good. Brightness wise, there's the option to put that up or to drag that down to whatever we want. Um, leave it roughly here again, and then the direction of the effects can go one way or the other. So you've got quite a bit of control here. Um, we'll put it back to where it was. We've got a range of different effects, so we'll click on Prism, Spectrum, Slide, Wind, And again, in each of these effects, we can change the sequence that we're in. Uh, static. And again, we've got a range of colors that we can pick for that and change them to whatever we want. Uh, light speed. Rain. Firework. Breathe. and dynamic. So a whole range of great looking effects. I think it looks best on Rainbow, so that's what I'm going to leave it on. So this really was just a first look at the brand new Kingston Fury Beast DDR5 RGB. I think it looks absolutely brilliant, and I'm really looking forward to building with it. So keep an eye on the channel. I think you're going to be seeing quite a bit of this RAM on my channel in a number of builds in the very near future. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. 
And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.